I don't need any of these books. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Melinda, plain and simple. Welcome to my Sunday book declutter with me. Um, today, I'm just going to go ahead and get started right in on this. I already grabbed some books out. I tried to make sure I got all the ones out that might get us dinged. Uh, so, hopefully. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. If you want to go through any books along with me, grab your stuff and come on and we'll do it together. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and start with this pile right here. Um, this one is... It says three historical romances. I used to like to read this sort of stuff, but lately I just haven't had time to read this. And so I'm just going to go ahead and pass it along. Um, I don't think I ever even did anything more than do that. <laughs> so, uh, and I've had it a while, so it's time. And then this one, Angels and Miracles. This it looks like it's a chicken soup for the soul book. Um, and again, I used to have a lot of things with angels and stuff, but I really haven't been reading much of that sort of thing lately. Um, this one, believe, um, I think I do want to keep this one. I have some um, faith-based books and inspirational books um, that I would like to read at some point, so I'm going to hang on to that one. Um, this one is called Modern Fairy Tales. Uh, let's see, I don't know if, hang on, let me read it back a little bit. <laughs> um, um, I, I don't think I'm going to read it, and, and it's really big, and right now I really don't want to read a book that big. Um, if I decide I want to read it someday, I can always, you know, get it at the library, I'm sure, so it can go. Oh, here are a couple of the ones that... Um, I think I got these at a, a, um, what do you call it, a seminar thing that I went to one time. And, uh, I'm pretty sure that's where I got these. But I'm going to keep these. i put that in my keep pile. This one, um, this is a little Mary Englebright one. So I'm sure you can imagine what the, um, inside looks like. You know, the usual, uh, has the little things and the cute little pictures. Um, but I'm not keeping a lot of that stuff around anymore. I, I don't typically pull them out and um, read them anymore. Uh, so I'm going to let this go, but isn't that the prettiest? She has the most pretty artwork. I love it. Um, and then this one is some limericks. Let me see if make sure I don't have like pictures in it here. It does have some pictures, but really not too, too, uh, you know, um, young. But uh, what's, I don't think I'm going to read it. I'm going to let that go. I do remember this one. I really, really love this book. It's got some prayers in it and stories and things, and I really enjoyed this book, so I'm going to keep that one. I don't typically, I think I said in, in my last one, I don't typically read books that are like, I'll get them thinking I'm going to read them, and then I don't, and this one's by Roma Downey, but I really did enjoy that book, so I'm going to hang on to that one. I actually remember it. <laughs> um, and then this one, Stories from the Heart. Um, I don't think I'm going to read it. I'm going to let it go. And this is another one. This is Angel Stories. And I, I don't think I'm going to read it. And then over here, we've got Stories for the Romantic Heart. So, looks like maybe another one of those that has little stories and sayings and verses. I know this one. I've read this one. Um, this one has a lot of positive, um, fun. A very, I love, I love Susie Toronto stuff. And so it's a lot of positive things, always kind of funny. And like it says, wacky and all that. Um, but I've read it. I'm not going to read it again. And this is another one of those that has the little sayings in it. Um, God is in the small stuff. And it all matters. Um, I think I'm going to keep this one. I don't think I read this one yet. I do want to, I think I'll read this one and then I'll probably pass it along after that. This is another one that I remember. I didn't finish reading this one, um, but it's Demi Lovato. 
and I was very surprised at how much I enjoyed this book. It was, it's, um, like little quotes and stuff, and then her, uh, thoughts and, um, things like that, and it was actually very, very good. So, I think I'm going to read it again. I'll start reading again. You can, like, you can see I have my little things in here, um, but I know I did not finish reading it. Um, life got busy, and I quit reading it, but... Um, I think I'll start reading it again. I think that'll be a good thing to read. This one too. I like I liked um, David Jeremiah when he was on TV. And so I think I'll keep this one. I don't remember if I started reading that one or not. I, I think I'll keep it. Um, I did like Sarah Bumbranek's uh, stuff. Um, but I don't think I need to keep. I don't need to keep that. And this is another one of those that has the little uh, pictures and little sayings. I don't need that. This is one of those that's in the little box. And then it has pictures and poems and whatnot. But I don't I don't think I want to keep that either. I've been letting those go. Ew. And it has a smell. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Pretty strong. Um, anyway, it's like a perfumey, powdery smell. Um, and this one is um, A Gathering of Angels. I think it's probably more stories and things about angels. I don't need to keep it. I had a whole collection of angel books at one time. And I've just been slowly letting them go. Like, get this pile over here. This one is Reach for the Stars. Give up the good to go for the great. Let's see. This one has little sayings and stuff in it Let's see um i probably should keep this one because <laughs> i just read inside of it it's got a saying uh, my this is something my husband gave me when i graduated college <laughs> so i'll keep that one um let's see uh miscellany christmas or christmas miscellany it's probably just a bunch of stuff so i don't need to keep that remember when probably more more poems and music and probably all sorts of things. Um, I don't know if this is maybe I don't know what this is. I don't know, but I don't I don't need to keep it. I don't need to remember that. I don't. It's probably for my time. <laughs> I hope so. Anyway, um, the illustrated book of Christmas folklore. Let's see if it has pictures. It says illustrated, so I'm guessing it does. Well, this page doesn't, so we can look here. <laughs> um, yeah, it looks like it's just informational. Yeah, so it's not enough. Yeah, so I don't think I need that. This one, Santa Claus book, book of Secrets. Well, don't tell anybody. Let's see. Let me look and see if it has pictures. Oh. Yeah. Um, it has pictures, but I don't think a kid would enjoy this too much, so I think it's okay to be on here. Yeah, I, I don't think I need to keep that. I don't really, I don't really care. <laughs> I don't really care about, I don't care about the secrets. <laughs> uh, Thomas Kincaid, I'll be home for Christmas. Uh, that's the typical, pic his pictures, and then stories and sayings and stuff like that and then this one debbie mccomer um let's uh call me mrs miracle so it's just a novel i don't need it christmas in my heart a timeless treasury of heartwarming stories so christmas again you know we thought i had gone through all my christmas but i have more christmas <laughs> this isn't even all of them I know there's more. Once upon a Christmas. That, that doesn't look enjoyable. I don't need that. And then this one. The practice of poetry. Um, exercises from poets who teach. Hmm. Well, I think I'll keep it for now. Maybe I'll look at it closer and decide I don't want to actually keep it um a book 
Um, I don't think I need to keep that. I'm not going to read it. And the same with this one, The Princess and the Goblin. I'm not going to read it. And then this one is a textbook, Managerial Accounting. Hmm. I don't need to use that. I'm not going to be managing anybody's accounting. So that can go as well. So all of these books, all of these are going. Let's see if we can get them all together. Look at that. All of those are going. And here's my pile that I'm keeping. So there you go. Let me know down in the comments if you did a book declutter along with me. And for now, I'm going to say bye. Happy decluttering. See you next time. I have so very many books, I'll never read them all. And even if I could, I don't want to, after all. Some I read, and some I would, and some I thought I should. And one or two I'll read again, but only cause they're good. The rest of them are good to go. I doubt I'll miss a one. In fact, I'm likely to forget as soon as they are gone. And though I won't have all the choices, one thing I suspect. The next time I desire to read, I'll reach for one I kept. What you doing, Pumpkin? Yeah? Are you going to declutter some stuff? Yeah. <laughs>